Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the trackers and permissions of pretty much every single VPN out there. Now, I don't think anyone has ever done a kind of document like this or an analysis of so many VPNs at the same time, whether they have trackers and permissions on Android. Now, why did I make this list? Well, I do think it's an important thing to think about in terms of the reputation, in terms of the, how the company is viewing privacy on their applications. Now, having a tracker on an application isn't always a bad thing. Usually trackers will help the developers implement stuff like crash analytics, see what behavior is happening with the application, if why things are crashing and so on. So sometimes having these kind of tools is a decent way to improve an application. However, that said, there are other ways to self-host tracking things and stuff like that where you don't have to have a tracker in the Android application itself, which is probably more privacy friendly. Not only that, but you know, I'm not a developer, so I don't know exactly the different ways to do it, but I know that there are VPN applications that have zero trackers. Um, and if they could do it, other VPNs can do it too. So why settle for a VPN that does have trackers? So today we're taking a look at every single one out there. I'm going to zoom it in for you people on mobile. I've seen some people complain sometimes that it's too small. So permissions is also something important to think about. The more permissions that an application has, generally the worse it is. The less trackers an application has, generally the better it is. So we can take a look at this list. Now keep in mind, pretty much every single VPN on this list that has a zero trackers most often will get a five out of five reputation for well so this just shows how accurate the reputation category is on vpnterials.com because i take into account of things like past leaks past security problems and every vpn on this list that doesn't have trackers has also never had that many security leaks and stuff like that so i do think there is a pretty good correlation between having zero trackers and actually being a very reputable and secure vpn service so Let's go ahead and just take a look at this list for this video. Um, Air VPN, zero trackers, only five permissions, very solid. Astral VPN, zero and three, also very good. Atlas VPN has four trackers and eight permissions, not so good. Just about the same as Avast Secure Line VPN, however, that has 16 permissions. AVG VPN also has more than 16, 18 right there and five trackers. Now, I've never really been a fan of these kind of VPNs from these antivirus companies because most of the time I don't really think they're that reputable or that good. And this just goes to show that's true. Azure VPN has zero and four, also a very reputable VPN. Black VPN, not too bad with just two, but seven permissions. Bullet VPN, surprisingly, has only zero um, right here eight permissions cactus vpn has three and eight i actually lowered the reputation score here for specifically cactus vpn since they do have more trackers than i thought they would normally it was a five out of five vpn for reputation but now i've lowered it due to this um, kind of analysis so i did make some adjustments there the reputations category was not perfect by any means but i do think it is pretty close to it now cyber ghost vpn has eight trackers yikes 12 permissions enabled CyberGhost VPN, I wouldn't really say it's that trustworthy of a company either, in my opinion. ExpressVPN has around two, which isn't horrible, but 12 permissions is a bit high. F-Secure Freedom VPN has zero, but 11 is pretty high for permissions. Three and seven for fastest VPN, and all these VPNs right here don't really have Android applications for me to analyze, but you could probably use some variation of OpenVPN or something like that. Hide.me, 0 and 11, a little bit high there on the permissions. Hide IP, 0 and 9, still a little bit high on permissions for my liking. Hide my ass, not a very trustworthy VPN at all. 5 and 18, yikes. Hotspot Shield, another one I wouldn't say is that trustworthy, is 6 and 18, yikers. IB VPN, 0 trackers, but 9 permissions is a bit high. 3 for IP Vanish and 12, still pretty high for IP Vanish, and it's more trackers than I like. IVC VPN, same company as Peer VPN, 7 and 12, pretty high there across the board. IVPN, a very reputable VPN service, has 0, but a little bit high there on the permissions for my liking. Um, still a decent reputation VPN, probably perfect. Um, I would like to see that lowered though. Lightyear VPN, 3 and 9. McAfee, ooh, 7 and 16, not very good, probably not very trustworthy. Ironically, Mozilla VPN actually has more permissions than Movad VPN, just kind of adding to the thought again 
that if you're gonna use Molvad VPN, don't use any of the other applications like Mozilla or Malwarebytes. These ones just overall um, are not probably as good as Molvad. Ironically though, Malwarebytes VPN had a little bit of higher score in the tier list, I think because it somehow worked for streaming a little bit better. I'm not sure why that was the case. But again, as you can see here, don't use Mozilla VPN, just use Molvad, has less permissions, overall just a little bit more private. Name cheap, seven and seven, not very good. NordVPN, six trackers and 12 permissions. Not very good at all. For how popular it is, that is pretty bad. Norton VPN, six and 12, not very good either. Perfect privacy, zero and two. Wow, that is really, really good for perfect privacy. Um, as far as I know, that seems to be the lowest so far. So good job, Perfect Privacy. You have the lowest one so far on the list. If not, I think that is the lowest one out of all of these. So that's, that's actually pretty good. Perfect Privacy, not the highest rated VPN on the table, but definitely a pretty good one, especially in terms of reputation and privacy like this. Private Internet Access, zero and nine. Could be a little bit lower here, but I like to see that they don't have trackers. Um, private VPN, three and seven, just kind of okay. Proton, good to see they have zero trackers, but six permissions. Could have been worse. This one specifically, although they only have zero trackers and six permissions, I don't really like the company that much. I don't think it's really that trustworthy. I think some of the C-level management is a bit toxic in regards to how they deal with reviewers like me. So not a huge fan of that company or the people that work there. Overall, I don't think their reputation is that great because of some of these reasons and other reasons, um, unfortunately, but they do have a good no tracker here. Pure VPN has eight trackers and 13, awful, yikes. Quad VPN, 10 permissions. I couldn't really find information about trackers because Exodus couldn't analyze it. Safe for VPN, the same company owned by IP Vanish, four and 10, not too good. And Slick VPN has 26, yikes, yikes. I think SlickVPN is now owned by J2Global, that by the way, pretty much the same ownership as SaferVPN, IPVanish, and some of the other ones. Surfshark VPN has five and 19 permissions. It's ironic that VPNs like NordVPN, six and 12, and Surfshark, five and 19, are rated so highly on so many websites, and then you have a VPN like Perfect Privacy with zero and two, and you don't see it highly rated anywhere. Hmm, I wonder if it has something to do with the commission rates. Probably, um, but we could take a look at other things after Surfshark, Thunder VPN, three and 10, free VPN, not really recommended and nothing too great there. Torgord has zero trackers, which is very good. I would be disappointed to see if they're my top rated VPN and they had um, more than one tracker or more than zero. 11 permissions is a little bit high, but you know, there is some variance there, like I said before. I do think overall permissions are not as important as having zero trackers. Um, ideally, you know, you would want it to be like perfect privacy with zero and two, that'd be good. Trust.zone actually zero and three, very, very good there. Tunnel Bear two and seven, uh, it could be better. Turbo VPN five and 10, I don't trust Turbo VPN at all. It's most likely owned by some Chinese company. Ultra VPN three and 10, Unlocator two and five, not too bad there actually. VPN, a company I see advertising themselves all the time on Reddit under anonymous accounts. Nine trackers and 17 permissions, not too good at all. VPN Unlimited, another company that kind of has a kind of shady logging policy, but ultimately a decent service for streaming and stuff like that if you want to check that out. Um, eight trackers, yikes, and 17 permissions, not very good. VPN.ac, another trustworthy company with zero trackers and six permissions, very nice. VPN Area, a VPN I just reviewed that is actually pretty reputable as well. Zero and six, also very strong. And VPN City 3 and 13 could be better here, but not too bad, I suppose. WeVPN, another good company on the list, has two trackers and 20 permissions. I would like to see this significantly lowered, as well as this lowered as well. I actually have talked to the team about this already to try to see if they can remove these trackers. So hopefully they do that in the future. If they do that, it'll be really good to see they respond to some of the criticisms. Viper VPN has five and 12. I would like to see this improved as well, although I do think it's somewhat trustworthy of a company. Winscribe, um, one company a lot of people do trust, is um, two and 18. I would like to see that lowered for sure for Winscribe, and 18 is quite high as well. XVPN probably gets an award for the most trackers ever on this list. 26 trackers is just ridiculous with 12 permissions enabled. 
the guy, some kind of company related to them is like a decentralized VPN called Tachyon, wanted me to do a video on them. But once I found out they had relations to XVPN and they have 26 trackers and XVPN is most likely owned by a company in China or something like that. I didn't really want to make a video about that anymore. Zenmate has eight and 10, another kind of free VPN service with not that good privacy. Zoog VPN, four and 15, pretty high there as well as there. Anyways, guys, that was a complete analysis of all the trackers and permissions for pretty much every VPN out there that, you know, most people know about. Um, what is my takeaway from this list? Well, there are a lot of trustworthy VPNs on this list, but not as much as you would want. Um, there isn't that many VPNs with zero trackers and low permission accounts. Um, there are a couple notable um, exceptions to the norm. We have stuff like perfect privacy with a really good track record here with zero and two trust.zone zero and three. Um, other VPN providers, of course, VPN AC, VPN area doing well. Torguard still holding up as well. I would like the permissions to be lowered a little bit, but it's good to see at least zero trackers. And since I do so well in every other category of the tier list, it's not a huge deal to me. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Have you ever seen anything like it? Did you learn anything about the VPN you're using? Or are you proud to be using this one? Or if you're changing, if you want to change VPNs, of course, you could check out VPNTierList.com where you can find all my affiliate links and everything like that to help support the channel and help you choose a VPN. And I'll see you guys on the next video very soon.